Did you ever finish a clear a linear case or a set of liners and everything was perfect? Or almost everything? There are just some tiny, tiny little spaces that are still not closed. This video will show you what to do in these cases and how to prevent them. My name is Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education for the Clear Institute, where dentists make the move. And in this clear tip, we talk about the overcorrection aligners, the difference between the C chain and the power chain, and when and how to use them. Let's start this thing. I'm sure it happened to you. If you finished a couple of cases, you saw it. These little residual spaces that are left at the end. You have the impression everything is perfect, but your patient tells you... When I eat meat, I have more between my teeth than in my stomach. Take some dental floss and check the contacts. Even if they don't complain, before you declare a case... Finished. finished. Check the contacts. If you see that it could be tighter, then the use of overcorrection aligners can come in handy. If we look at a ClinCheck, at the bottom, you can see all the stages of the treatment. Those uh, correspond to the numbers of each stage or each aligner. If you look at the top, you can see the over tool. Over is for overcorrection. Watch what happens when I click on it. You see these three blue lines that were added, that just appeared. Those are three overcorrection aligners, three aligners added to the end of the set designed to close residual spaces. Look at what it does on the clean check when we press play. It will tighten the contacts. It, it mimics what a C chain used with fixed braces will do. It squishes the arch, just squishes the arch. Squish. I like the word. I don't know why. There are two different types of overcorrection aligners. You have the C chain and the power chain. I'm curious to know which one you prefer or use more often. And if this video will change your preference, write it in the comments below. The difference between both is that the C chain will close spaces from cuspid to cuspid and the power chain will close it from molar to molar. But, 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 you have to be careful. Why, Stefan? Why? Tell us why, please. Stay calm. If you open your clinical preferences... What, Stefan? The clinical preferences? What is that? Where? How? Calm, please. Calm. The clinical preferences are a series of additional instructions that you want to apply to all of your treatments and that were not addressed in your prescription. There will be a video soon on this specific subject. If you don't want to miss it, you should do this. To access your clinical preferences, just go to your IDS, your Invisalign doctor site. And on the upper right corner, click on the little down arrow next to your name. There, you will see clinical preferences. Click on it and voila, your clinical preferences opens. Did you know you had that? If you scroll down, you will see for space closure treatments, apply virtual C chain. Now, Align's default is none for all type of treatment. But the Clear Institute's default is we want it all the time, especially for comprehensive and teen treatments. You see that you have two other options under the no. You can either choose three to three or six to six. Three to three means that the space will be closed from three to three. Only only. This is where the squish will happen. And you guessed it, the 6 to 6 means it will close spaces from 6 to 6. And this can be a problem. Even though we choose 6 to 6 by default, what we want is 7 to 7 or second molar to second molar or terminal molar to terminal molar. Otherwise, what can happen, and guess how I know, is that when the software performs the 6 to 6 chain or the power chain, it sometimes opens a space between the 6 and the 7 or the first molar and the second molar. You don't want that. Now, remember, the software doesn't know. It works with artificial intelligence. In this case, the word artificial is important. Now you work with real intelligence not not you not always don't 
not don't just say stop there not always <sighs> In your prescription, it will be important to write if you want a power chain to apply it from 7 to 7 or again terminal molar to terminal molar. But when should we use a 3 to 3 or the 6 to 6? Good. Excellent question. You have to choose a default. I, I chose the 6 to 6, but in my special instruction, when I fill my prescription, I will add apply, apply over, over correction, correction aligners from, from terminal, terminal molar, molar to terminal, terminal molar. molar. Now, depending on where I did the movements in my case, I will decide what kind of overcorrection I want. If, for example, I treated only the anterior teeth, I don't need to have a power chain. A regular C chain will do the job. Wait, wait, special message here. You keep saying power chain, C chain, and with your accent, it's confusing. Mm hmm. Okay, true. Here's the difference. C chain is for the anterior and power chain is for the whole arch. A good way to remember it, C chain. C, like C for cuspid. So C chain, cuspid to cuspid. And well, the power chain for the whole arch. Easier, even with the French accent, n'est-ce pas? If I did a lot of movement in the posterior and added IPR, the power chain will be my first option. I'd say that 75% of the time I use the power chain, but it depends on the type of treatment you're doing. My recommendations are always have overcorrection aligners by default in all your cases. Number two, if you did movements or IPR only in the anterior teeth, use a C chain from three to three or cuspid to cuspid. Number three, if you did movements in the posterior, rotations, expansion, and or, or some IPR, use a power chain from terminal molar to terminal molar. Number four. If you don't need them, don't use them. I'll tell you what to do with them in another video. Number five. You don't have to use the, the three of them. Sometimes only one will do the job. Think of the uh, parameters of aligners. You don't know what they are? Oh, good thing because it will be the next video next week. And this is why this last recommendation is important. If you watch this, if you watch this video up to this point, it's because you probably liked it. So give us a thumbs up by clicking on it just here below and, and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Don't, don't forget to click the bell. My name is Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education for the Clear Institute, where dentists make the move. Have fun squishing the arches. Get on our list to be informed of all the upcoming courses on our digital e-learning platform Everything to entertain your education with clear aligners. The link is in the description below. Also, you might want to take a look at these videos. Now, Google thinks that you should like this one, and I think that this one would probably interest you also. And don't forget to click on my friend CC here below to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified of all new videos as soon as they are online. Have fun making the move.